Okay, we are live on Periscope. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday from Watertown, New York. Happy Monday. It's day 10 of Strub Snap Swaps. And we are here jamming. And I got an idea. I was thinking about something and said, hmm, I should talk about this on Periscope. Hello, Joanne. How are you? So, Give you a second to just pop in, say hello, get your popcorn ready. Joanne, how are you, my friend? It's so lovely to see you here live on Periscope. Live, live, live on Monday. Monday afternoon. What's going on, Nettie Kate? So good to see you. So I have something um, interesting that I wanted to talk about today, and it is in regards to Snapchat. And as you guys know, um, I am in the midst of it. Very well, good. I am in the midst of a lengthy um, Snapchat project. It's called hashtag strub snap swaps. You know what? I'm going to sit down for this. I feel like my scopes are better when I'm sitting down and not holding the camera up, and it gives a little more stability. So there you go. Let's, let's learn from this. Bobber, thanks for being here. So here's what I wanted to talk about today. This is what I was thinking about last night. I was watching Figo Americano, who I tagged in here. Yes, Nettie Kate, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and Aaron, thank you for being here. Um, I'm curious, uh, from you guys in the room, put, tell me in the comments, do you guys use Snapchat for business at all? Do you try and sell anything, either personally or for your business? There you go. I dabbed for you. Just started following you on Snapchat. Thank you so much. So here's my, um, and they said dab. I listen to my commenters. When the commenters say they want to dab, we dab, right? So um, here is why I think that um, content is not king uh, when it comes to using Snapchat for business. Um, you know, we talk so much about <laughs> about how you are able to uh, gain more viewers on Snapchat and how you're able to um, gain an audience. You know, and sometimes, um, you know, we think that uh, your Snapchat audience isn't necessarily local or they're not necessarily the people that you want to connect with. And part of the issue uh, for most businesses, of course, man, you say dab, I dab. You just gotta make sure you follow me and maybe swipe and share this, this broadcast as well. Um, Part of the issue with businesses trying to use, new, you know, any new platform, not even just Snapchat, is being able to sell the idea of that platform and of the content that they're creating to their audience, right? And so, um, you know, when you look at what um, Figo Americano does, well, let's start with Chocolate Johnny, too. What Chocolate Johnny does uh, down in Sydney, Australia, is um, really incorporate Snapchat into what he does um, at Perfection Chocolates and really incorporate his audience and his customers, um, and not just the people from around the world, but the people that walk into the brick and mortar store into what he does on Snapchat. Absolutely brilliant. And you talk about evangelizing, you talk about trying to get people to come to you, and to, yes, Johnny is awesome. Uh, trying to get people to come to you and to um, appreciate and experience what it is that you're putting out there every day by involving his customers and not just saying, you know, I'm doing this, but in, you know, including them in the content plan and really coming down and explaining to them, taking the phone and showing the customers, you went to his store because of Periscope and Snapchat. Awesome, are you down in Australia? Do I follow you back, Nettie Kate? I do. Awesome. See, it's amazing. I feel like every time I go on Periscope, I, uh, I find a new Australian that I just adore. There are so many freaking awesome Australians like Rock Paper Gucci, and I'm Tristan G, and the Sarah Moore, and of course Chocolate Johnny, um, Adam Sinemre, like just, they just keep popping up and this is amazing. Like, I feel like I have more awesome friends in Australia sometimes than I do in the States. Um, but what makes Figo Americano, yes, they're all awesome. And Steve Sassman is here, AKA Chris Strub for the day. Steve Sassman, the man today, jamming on Chris Strub, the, the Snapchat channel. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Steve. What really inspired me to do this scope was thinking, was looking at what Figo Americano does every day and thinking about how he is able not just to um, Snapchat and not just to be able to use the tool successfully, but what differentiates our, ben, our friend Ben Phillips um, from the rest of the world is his unique ability to incorporate and to 
um, have his coworkers and his colleagues understand what the platform and what the messaging is all about. So when you sit down and you watch Figo Americano, and not today because they're heading, they're on vacation. Um, so if you go check out Figo Americano on Snapchat today, um, he is flying with his lovely wife uh, to Maui, which is pretty cool, uh, and I'm very jealous. Um, and there's Blake. Blake, you're going to love this, man. I'll, I'll, I'll recap this for you. So uh, I'm talking today, uh, we just talked a little bit about Chocolate Johnny and how he incorporates his customers into what he does on Snapchat um, at Perfection Chocolates, right? So he's literally bringing the customers into what he does. But I wanted this scope more to be about what um, Figo Americano does, Ben Phillips, okay? And um, yes, love, love, love Blake Snaps. I'm so, so grateful that he was part of Strub Snap Swaps the other day. And there's Fallon. What's going on, Fallon? I was just watching Doton a minute ago. Um, awesome. So let me let me recap what I'm saying. Um, if you guys don't follow Figo Americano, Fallon, it's lovely to see you. Um, if you don't follow Figo Americano on Snapchat, here is what makes Ben Phillips maybe the best, yo, maybe the best Snapchatter I know when it comes to incorporating Snapchat for business, is his ability, I don't know how to use it, well, we'll get there, is is his ability to, ex, to describe and to explain the value of Snapchat, Fallon, you're way too sweet to me, explain the value of Snapchat and the messaging that he creates to his coworkers to the other people that are around him, to be able to evangelize the platform to the people that he works with. You're too sweet to me, Blake. You really are. To evangelize the platform. And let, Blake, let me know what you think in the comments. What am I, am I wrong here? Think about if Blake Croft was able to go into Food City and be able to show you guys what he did at Food City. Or think about if, you know, I, I, I don't want to use myself as an example, but I work at a daily newspaper. And I love Snapchat, but it has nothing to do with what I do with the daily newspaper because if I even took out my phone and started taking a picture or a video in the office, people would be like, what is going on? What is this guy doing? Why is he doing this? You know, but what separates, I got told on at Food City for Snapchatting, but you don't, you don't Snapchat at work. Behind the scenes makes it personal. Sure, Joanne, but what I'm saying is this. If you want to incorporate Snapchat into what you do at your business, the hardest thing to do is to explain it to your coworkers and to explain what for your back to work staff. Interesting. Interesting. So what happened? Blake? We'll, we'll talk about this offline. Oh, they said it was negative. Well, here's the thing. If they don't care about Snapchat, then why does it matter? You know what I mean? Like, Maybe someone at Food City should be monitoring Snapchat or should be looking at Snapchat. You know what I mean? Um, so, and obviously they are paying attention. You know, I don't think that Blake has ever done anything negative about Food City. You know, and obviously he puts his phone away the moment he walks in the door. So, um, but again, just to get back to it, this is what makes Ben Phillips, Figo Americano, and maybe you guys can snap him, tell him we were talking about this, because I know he's on an airplane right now. But what Ben Phillips does at his job by evangelizing, um, by evangelizing Snapchat to his coworkers, and literally now they are part of what he does. They are part of the content that he creates. Not every day, and like I said, not today, because they're on, they're, uh, uh, Ben and his wife are flying to Hawaii uh, on vacation. Um, which is awesome. Congratulations. I'm jealous and I miss Hawaii. Um, but by having successfully explained the value proposition of Snapchat to people who do not Snapchat, now he's able to, in, you know, to grow not just his audience um, internationally, but to really demonstrate the value internally of what it is that he's creating. And that opens so many more doors to what you're trying to accomplish on Snapchat. You know, so you watching this right now, there's a good chance, I don't know whether you're watching this on replay or watching this live with me, there's a good chance that you are the most energized live streamer or you are the most energized Snapchatter at your place of business. And there's also a good chance that what you do on live streaming and Snapchat has nothing to do with, um, what you do for work, right? I mean, that's certainly the, 
that's the deal with me. That's the deal with Blake Croft. And that's the deal with a lot of us is that we're all sort of out here on our own, trying to do our own thing and trying to uh, make a name for ourselves or build a personal brand or build a side hustle or whatever you want to call it. But the next step, the next natural progression for these platforms is, yes, build relationships. Absolutely. The next natural step uh, in the progression for these platforms is that we start to incorporate them into what we do on a day-to-day -day basis at our daily businesses and really demonstrate the value of what we do for work on these platforms. Is that crazy? Is that weird to think about that, you know, all of our, our normal jobs will start to converge with what we're doing here. And if our bosses are smart, and our bosses see the value in it, then they will start to say, hey, Blake Croft, you should be Snapchatting for Food City because you are freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Like, and there's so many examples out there. There's so many examples of this going on out there that so many of us, yes, he absolutely should be. He, like, I wanna go to Food City in Etowah right now because Blake works there. And he has nothing to do with the social media department for Food City. I've never seen any messaging, anything else. Obviously, I live pretty far from Tennessee. But I would go to Food City in Etowah just to see Blake because he has built that relationship with me over months and months and months and months and months. Some people don't realize the power of Snapchat. Exactly. I'm my boss and I'm totally okay with me snapping at work. Yes, absolutely. That's another way to do it, right? Businesses don't realize their employees are their best social evangelists and assets. Yes, Matt, absolutely. And there are so many of us out here, um, there are so many of us out here doing our own thing and, and jamming out and, and doing some really, really outstanding work. I, I don't doubt anyone's ability to Snapchat. I follow hundreds of awesome, awesome, awesome Snapchatters. So, so many. You know, I'm doing a 50 state, uh, 50 day Snapchat project called Strub Snap Swaps, where I'm trading my Snapchat account with people from around the world. And honestly, I'm telling you, I could do that for 365 days. Good morning. Yes, absolutely. What's going on, Donga 104? Let me make sure I follow you back. Oh, what a coincidence. Another freaking awesome Australian. I was just talking about that before. Um, just so wonderful uh, to meet so many awesome Aussies um, who are jamming out there, whether it's Adam or Tristan or Chocolate Johnny, uh, Rock Paper Gucci, Sarah Moore, just the list goes on and on and on. I adore my Aussie friends, and I really hope to, uh, to get back uh, to, not get back, but to get to Australia at some point, maybe in 2016. Stay tuned. So let me know, what do you guys think? Um, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'd love to read some of your comments. Am I totally off base? Um, you know, first of all, make sure you follow Figo Americano. Absolutely would be great, for sure. I would love, 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 love to get to Australia. I feel like I should put my Australia hat on. Hang on. There you go. You got a costume change. Absolutely agree with what you're saying. Yes, thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. So think about that. Here's, here's your, your point of action, right? Yes, love it. Look, I got this hat directly. True blue right there. There you go. There's your, there's your screenshot, right? Um, I actually got this hat from the man himself, from Chago Johnny. Like he, he brought this hat to... Summit Live handed it to me and said, here you go, mate. Um, and like, oh my goodness. So here is my, okay. So we're going to wrap up here in a minute, but I, of course I'm I, like, I'd love to answer some of your questions. If you have any ideas, will you throw me out if I ask you to put another shrimp on the Bobby? <laughs> no, I, I rarely throw anybody out. You're good, man. Your ace is in my book. Um, so let's, let's learn from this and let's try and make progress from what we're talking about here, right? Instead of thinking about what type of awesome content you can make, if, if you're in this position, okay, and I know Ben was saying like, oh, I'm my own boss, cool. Think about how you can evangelize what it is that you're doing to people who uh, either or um, 
who aren't on Snapchat or who um, just don't believe in it. You know, people maybe that you work with, maybe it's your family members, maybe it's your Facebook friends. Uh, do you have any course for Snapchat? Um, I personally do not, um, but I would love to recommend that you check out uh, Blake C432. Um, I'll say that again, Blake C432. Uh, his name is Blake Croft. He was here in the comments before. I'm not sure if he's still here or not, but um, Blake actually has a an awesome, awesome uh, Blake, B-L-A-K-E-C-432. Um, he's on Snapchat, and if you snap him, he will snap you right back, I promise, if he's not at Food City. Um, you can also catch him on Twitter, Blake C 432 He's got, yes, there you go, uh, Blake C 432 There you go. Um, you do Coke. Uh <laughs> No. Uh, yes, YouTube champ. Absolutely. What's going on, MS? W. Chells. Thank you so much for being here. You are the bomb. Just followed you back, MS. W. Chells. Oh, I, I look like I do coke? All right, that's cool. Oh, look, Blake came back. I think Blake heard me talking about him. Uh, what's up? What's going on, Rollout925? Trying to follow some of you guys back more. Here you go, AJ. Just followed you back on Periscope. Maybe you can get your first scope in soon. Dolphins Rock 285. Hey! What's going on, Kylie? Good to see you. So, oh, I look dirty. Oh, that's good. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Um, so if you guys have never seen me um, scope before, uh, my name's Chris Strub. Do we have any Snap friends in here? Um, Blake, uh, someone was just asking if uh, if I had a course for um, for Snapchat and uh, been missing my snaps recently. You gotta jump on Steve Sassman. See, I'm, I'm snapping actually more every day now uh, than I was before. And um, that's because I'm doing this project called Strub Snap Swaps. Yes, there you go. Yal May Beauty. Um, yeah, dirty. No, I'm letting the beard grow out a little bit. Um, so, you know, I, I kinda wanna get rid of it, but I kinda like it. I know we're doing this beards of Snapchat thing. Um, Jacqueline, gotcha. Um, I'm doing this this Snapchat project um, called Strub Snap Swaps, where I'm trading my Snapchat account with 50 people in 50 days. I found Steve Sassman through your Snap. I'm in Arizona too. Awesome. Do I follow you on Periscope? Let's do it. Mel Z and A Z. Mel, I just followed you back. Um, that's so fantastic. I'm awaiting day 17. I think we're all awaiting day 17. I I cannot wait to trade with Jana. That is just going to be awesome. LOL, I meant I haven't been on Snapchat recently. It's on me. LOL. You're missing out. You really are. Uh, Blake's uh, fancy doing a 51st day. There, there uh, very well may be more snap swaps in the future, although I honestly feel like after day 50, uh, I might need uh, a little bit of a breather. Um, I know someone was just saying I look dirty. Um, I, ho I hope you guys don't think I look dirty, but I am a little tired. Yes, a week off would be good, maybe two weeks off, or at least a week or two to get reacclimated with um, with the people that are adding my account every day. I mean, I, you know, I logged back into my account the other night. I had over 100 friend requests <laughs> in one day. Like, holy schmoes, you know? Like, that's a lot, you know? Like, damn, Chris, take a shower or something. Gosh. Um, yeah, no, it, uh, this project has been everything I, I hoped it would be and more. Um, it's been so, so much fun. And I think uh, what's been really exciting about maybe maybe fly to Australia for a holiday. Hey, I'm down. I'm down. Um, I would love to come to Australia, like I was saying before. Yes, we have a course that will be coming out. Check it at blakecroft.com slash the perfect story. Can't wait, Blake. And uh, Blake is also working on opening Blake's Bibles. If you follow him on Snapchat, um, make sure you keep uh, poking and prodding him. Send, him. send him a video snap, send him a text snap, and say, hey, Blake, when are you opening Blake's Bibles? We want to come to Blake's Bibles. Hashtag Blake's Bibles um, and all of those awesome things um, because that's what we're about is uh, encouraging community, uh, encouraging our friends. Um, and uh, Blake's Bibles is a brick-and-mortar Bible store that uh, my friend Blake Croft is going to open up in Etowah, Tennessee uh, very soon, very quickly with Harley. It's going to be awesome. And um, like I said, guys, my name is Chris Strub. I'm doing this awesome uh, Snapchat project called Strub Snap Swaps, where I am trading my Snapchat account with 50 people um, in the course of 50 days. Today is day number 10, 
and I am uh, in the midst of a swap with Steve Sassman of the Million Dollar Tesla Trip. Uh, what's up, Christian? Thanks for being here. Um, Steve Sassman uh, is the man behind the Million Dollar Tesla Trip. Um, he drove to 48 states and Canada last summer in his Tesla, and he met up and interviewed with some awesome people. What's up, NRMC Durandal? Uh, great to see you. Naomi, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, Steve drove around the United States and Canada last summer in his Tesla and interviewed some awesome people, um, including, uh, no, I don't have the shirt right next to me, but including Joel Kahn, um, which uh, was really awesome, uh, including Mia Voss, um, and including me. So that was fun. We met up in Pittsburgh. Um, just throwing it out to everyone, made my first dollar yesterday using Snapchat yesterday. Pretty pumped. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, someone tweeted me at, uh, tweeted me, someone named Sean tweeted me, yes, Joel Com is the man. Um, oh, snap, man, congrats, yes. Uh, someone tweeted me this morning a screenshot of uh, a really enthusiastic um, share that they put up on their own Facebook page about how they uh, bought my book yesterday. Um, 50 States, 100 Days, the book. It's available now at teamstrub.com. And of course, during the course of this 50-day project, uh, I am donating a dollar uh, to all the different nonprofit organizations that I worked with around the United States last summer. Um, if anyone wants to send me and Chris some snap cash, we won't object. Yeah, sure, that's fine. If I open up my Snapchat and I'm like, hey, okay, cool. Yeah, so I wrote a book called 50 States, 100 Days, the book. You can get it now at teamstrub.com. Um, it's all about my um, uh, visits to the nonprofit organizations that I worked with all around the United States last summer. Um, you know, I visited 50 states in 100 days, volunteered with 60 different youth organizations. Um, and what we're doing all uh, spring long, is it spring yet? Um, is, um, yes, teamstrub.com, is trading my Snapchat account with uh, 50 people. I worked with disabled adults for many years. You're doing good work. Uh, man, uh, Mel, are you familiar with Opportunity Village in Las Vegas? Um, Opportunity Village um, next week, I believe it's next, uh, uh, what is it? Six days from now. So this Sunday, um, I'm going to swap with Rocky Nash in uh, Las Vegas. Um, Rocky is, uh, I don't know if you guys know, thanks Chris, bluesking.ca, loves your good work. Awesome, Jackhammer James. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys being here, swiping and sharing with your followers, um, sending out a tweet and, and uh, sharing it with your Twitter followers as well. Um, I started this scope out talking about Ben Figo. Uh, I'm sorry, the former Ben Figo, Figo Americano. Um, and thank you, Christian, for, for swiping and sharing. I appreciate it. Um, what Ben Phillips has been able to do, just to recap what I was talking about, the point of this scope was this. And we'll wrap. Look at all these lovely. Oh my gosh! I got a screen. Look at this. How cool are you guys? I I had to screenshot that. Oh my! Look at you guys. It's Figo Americano, and it's actually in the title of this. Um, you'll be here for a while, Chris. Yeah. Hey, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. As long as the hearts keep coming, I'll stick around. I might have to get a glass of water. But um, what Ben Phillips is doing um, on Snapchat is phenomenal. Uh, the guy creates some awesome, awesome stuff. But what separates Ben from the crowd is his ability to evangelize the platform to his colleagues and to incorporate and to involve his coworkers who are not on Snapchat um, in his stories and in what he does. So when you see Ben at his desk and you see him walk into the building and you see him chatting with his, his colleagues, that, my friends, is the hard part. It's not what you see on his snaps. It's not what you see when he's broadcasting. It's the work that you put in when you're not broadcasting. It's the work that you put in behind the scenes. When people talk about the hustle, when people talk about the work that's required to get where you need to be, it's not what you're doing when you're snapping. It's not. I'm sorry. It's really not. It's so much more about what you do behind the scenes before you go live on Snapchat, explaining to people what it is that you're about to do. That is the difference between people giggling and laughing and the camera going like this and you're like, yes, as you were saying earlier, sadly, not every employee has this freedom. We're getting there, Blake. We're getting there, Blake. And Food City is not going to be the answer for you. There is some enormous corporation out there that recognizes what Blake Croft's value is 
and if they're listening right now, should get Blake on the phone, and if you DM me right now on Twitter, I will send you Blake's phone number, because he won't do it himself, and you're going to say, hey, is this Blake? I want to hire you to do Snapchat for my company, because you are freaking awesome. And Blake's going to be like, let me ask Harley, let's go. You know, like, hold on. <laughs> let me, sure, you know, like, that's how this is going to happen right? Because there are awesome people like Blake Croft out there doing incredible things. And the key is going to be explaining and evangelizing. Blake, dude, I can't believe they do that. Ridiculous. Exactly. You guys should all tweet to Food City. Blake, wait, I should ask Blake's permission before I do this. <laughs> but you should tweet to Food City and say, we want to see Blake on your Snapchat account. I would lose my shizzle for that. I would I would drive to Etowah. I would drive to Etowah. If, if, if Food City tweeted out today, like, add us on Snapchat to see Blake Croft. I'm like, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there in person. I'm like, boom. That is what it's about. We want to see companies incorporate Snapchat into what they're doing. What can you say about Russia? Um, uh, their involvement in House of Cards so far, season four, has been very interesting. Um, Saul Del Records is here. What's up, Saul Del Records? Thank you guys all so, so much for being here, for sticking around. Like, I don't Periscope all that much anymore, especially because I'm doing so much on Snapchat. Um, your hearts mean the world, your swipes and shares and, and all of that. And I'm glad to be delivering some valuable information to you. Um, I appreciate all of you guys sticking around. This has been so much fun. I was one of Blake's first clients and now I'm so busy with my art biz. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look at that. That is awesome. And welcome back, Blake. That is awesome. T Native Greedy, tell, uh, Native Greedy, Ugh. Native Graffiti, tell us more in the comments about what it is that you are doing with, uh, with Snapchat. And uh, we would love to hear it. I will uh, wait with bated breath as I prepare to read your comments, Native Graffiti. Because what Blake is doing with Native Graffiti um, is incredible. Is incredible. I cleared 12 grand in six months. Awesome. Kylie, I will be at work later today, so I will see if I can uh, if I can pop by on my art commissions. Um, that is freaking fantastic. That is so awesome. So, so awesome. So congratulations on that. I mean, that's just terrific. You know, and I think uh, both Blake and I would love, love, love to hear more. Um, Blake, maybe we could do a blab or something with Michelle, or we can, um, you know, set up, you know, a, a group DM or something. Uh, I would love to hear more, and I'm sure Blake would too, about um, how you're using um, social media to advance your business. I mean, that's what we, now I'm just on Snapchat. That's incredible. Blake, you need to interview Michelle and talk to her about this, because we need to, uh, we need to um, get some additional uh eyeballs to what it is that she's doing because she is setting the example um, for what others uh, can and should be doing on social media. So yes, testimonials, absolutely 100%. Um, and I am more than happy to support uh, anyone who is successfully using social media and especially anyone who is working with my good friend, Blake Croft. He of uh, Strub Snap Swaps, day number seven, um, and if you guys are missing the Strub Snap Swaps, um, please make sure you add me on Snapchat. It's Chris Strub, C-H-R-I-S-S-T-R-U-B on Snapchat. Um, we're doing some really, really awesome stuff. I'm trying as hard as I can to introduce you. Uh, I'm going to be in an international art exhibition in September because of exposure and Blake's advice. How cool is that? How cool is that? Uh, Michelle, let's make sure we're, um, we're connected on Snapchat as well. Um, I will definitely uh, send me a tweet with your snap code or something. Obviously, I'm um, broadcasting now, um, but it's changed my life. There you go, guys. If you're here in the room and you're listening and you're watching uh, what's going on with Michelle, um, know that uh, it's not just uh, not just me telling you here. I mean, you can see it here in the comments. You know, genuine, real-life success. Um, from relationship building, and I don't know Michelle's backstory, I'm not sure how she's using Snapchat, but I can tell you uh, without even 
knowing her story, that I'm sure a lot of it has to do with relationship building, um, with um, with really connecting to your customers, with providing value on a one-on-one -on -one level. Um, and she says there, hey, I'm a noob. We're all noobs. We're all noobs. Of course it's heartwarming, Blake. You being here, Mr. Blake, is heartwarming. Working to not only spread the word about my music, bluesking.ca, and motivate others to king-size life. I like it. Is that like a, is there like a, there should be like an emoji with that. Like, like, uh, like a, the, the crown and then like a bomb. You know, like king-size life. I mean, not the bomb, like the, the fire. So, uh, my name is Chris Strubb. I'm the first man to live stream in Snapchat in all 50 U.S. states. I did that last summer from May 15th to August 21st. Um, I traveled uh, around the country by myself in my 2007 Honda Accord, and I volunteered with different youth organizations in all 50 U.S. states. I worked with 60 different youth organizations around the United States. Um, I am in the midst of a Snapchat project called Hashtag Strub Snap Swaps, where I'm trading accounts with 50 people in 50 days, um, and they're going global. Uh, later this week, later this week, Mr. Blake, guess who? The first Aussie of a handful um, to uh, join in the Strub Snap Swaps um, plan. Chris, thank you very much. I liked your information. Many thanks for value that you gave to us. Oh, screenshot. Love it. Um, thank you so much, uh, Blake and everyone for being here. Uh, thank you so much, Nettie Kate One. Um, how cool is it that uh, we have become Snapchat friends and uh, quickly um, I like to turn Snapchat friends into real friends. Just ask Blake Croft, um, you know, that these, um, as, as my dirt would call them, pocket friends, um, these are my, my real friends, you know? I mean, Chaka Johnny handed me this hat in San Francisco and the reason we were both there, the reason both of us flew many, many miles, uh, Blake is my number one influencer, me too. Check out my Medium article called uh, 10 Snapchatters the World Needs to Know. Guess who my number one was? Spoiler alert, it's Blake Croft. So um, my Snapchat friends, my Periscope friends, my Twitter friends, those are my real friends, guys. Like, these, this is no joke. This is real life stuff. You know, like, we, we like to joke and, and laugh about, like, yes, exactly, real friends. This is real life stuff, man. This is real life stuff. And I am so pumped to meet so many more uh, awesome people this year because of the time that I spend here um, on Periscope and on Snapchat and formerly on Meerkat. You know, I've made, I made so many great friends, you know, through this platform. And, um, you know, I haven't actually done a separate scope about this, but there you go. If you wanted to grab a screenshot of that too, um, I am grateful to the Meerkat community um, for coming together and supporting me last summer, um, all summer long. It was so awesome to meet so, so many great people, um, literally meet, you know, like I got a chance to connect with a lot of people through Meerkat, um, but throughout the, my travels, I actually physically got to meet some awesome people, um, you know, Neve Dror and Jeff Goldberg and Steve Isaacs and April and, you know, so, you know, pop culture and Brian Arnold, like just so many awesome Santos, like so many awesome live streamers that I physically met in person, um, because of Meerkat, you know, this is real life stuff. This is real life stuff that's taking place right now. You know, same thing with this platform. Are you coming to Seattle too? Um, I'm doing a snap swap with someone in Seattle, um, who I will announce soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's Chris Strub on Twitter. Uh, I also keep the running list on teamstrub.com and I'm doing a lot of writing about all of the people that I'm swapping my Snapchat accounts with. So, um, yes, blabity blab blab. Absolutely. You know, like this is, this is real life stuff, man. Like this is no joke that these are people that I am connecting with. I'm just jealous that Blake has a shirt that's signed by everybody. You know, like I am... <laughs> like I signed a shirt for Blake and like, I wish Blake could sign a shirt for me. You know what I mean? Like just wait till next year when, when Blake and I get to hang out at Summit Live. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be freaking bonkers. It's going to be just bonkers. Yes. So, so cool. So I will, um, I will let you guys go. I just got a text 
from a real life friend who I met through live streaming uh, that said, call me brother. So I'm about to call that guy. Um, yes, it is going to be insane. Um, make sure you check out teamstrub.com if you want to learn more about 50 states in 100 days and all the different youth organizations that I worked with. I will be at Summit Live again this year too. Uh, Michelle, I'm sorry I missed you. Um, I wish we would have had this conversation um, three months ago um, because I certainly would have uh, said hi and hung out uh, and everything and gotten to know you better in real life. And Nettie Kate one thank you so much. Uh, for checking it out. It's teamstrub.com. If you spend some time clicking around, um, if you click on the picture that's right on the homepage, the big horizontal picture, um, it'll take you to a video, uh, like a news clip from Peoria, Illinois. And then if you go down to where it says state-by-state -state breakdown, um, I know you're in Australia, Nettie Kate, but um, you can look at all of the different states that I visited. There's a bunch of different news clips. There's a bunch of uh, newspaper articles. There's actually a couple radio interviews. Um, there's also on my homepage a list of Blab interviews that I've done. Um, I was on Hustle Culture with Carlos Gill. Um, so many awesome things, so many different ways um, that I've tried to get the message out about, um, about the Team Strub journey. Can't wait to have a look. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kate, for connecting and for um, just being an awesome Australian. Seriously, much love to Australia. Um, I have learned more about Australia in the last year um, than I had in my previous 29 years, um, even though I lived with an Australian in, uh, in college, which was interesting. Um, he was on an exchange program and he was my sweet mate. Um, so I've, I do have some real life Australian friends, but um, I have met some of the very best, um, like Chocolate Johnny. So everyone say hi to Chocolate Johnny one night. I'm sure he'll scope later today. Whew. Um, I'm about to go call uh, call a friend here and um, get back to doing some snippety snap, as Steve Sassman would say, some swapping of the snap. Please, please, please make sure you add me on Snapchat. It's Chris Strub. Um, I'm having so much fun uh, swapping Snapchats with some amazing people, um, including Mr. Blake Croft. It's great to connect with you, Kate. Um, seriously, thank you so, so much. Um, as I like to say, as I like to yell at Chocolate Johnny, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Tell him he's got to watch to the end of my scope now to hear me scream out Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy at, uh, at, at CJ. Um, but just just good people, man. Good people. Uh, oi, oi, oi! Exactly. Good people um, connecting with good people. That's what it's about. And um, Blake Croft, you are good people, my friend. Check out teamstrub.com, facebook.com slash teamstrub. You can add me on Instagram, Chris Strub. Uh, I'm on Vine. I'm on Periscope. I'm on Meerkat. I'm on Peach. I'm on everything. Chris Strub. Facebook.com slash teamstrub. You can check out my Snapchat interviews from all 50 U.S. states. No, Blake. You are gooder people. I get to have the last word because it's my scope. Always smile at the end, according to Chocolate Johnny. Adios, guys. Thank you so much for being here.